Hello, my wild and crazy golden ear peeps. It's another session of yays and nays, and this is for September, and some newbies for October. So let's just jump right into it. Just ignore a rocket right there, okay? All right, so in my Ipsy bag last last month, I got this one kind um, eye brightening cream, and I used the whole thing. It was very nice. Um, is it something I'd purchase again? Probably not. And if you're looking for an eye cream, I think this would be a plus for you. Next, I got this uh, Selfless by Hiram Niacinamide Marcula. Uh, I really liked it. I thought it was really light and, and absorbed in and your skin felt really smooth. So in this I saw online for about 20 bucks for this size. So, and it's, I still have some in it and I use it just in the mornings. And if I need a little touch up with some Lolan, I will use that. Okay, and I also got in um, my <laughs> Ipsy was this um, watermelon -y burst lip oil. And I've been using that at night and in the morning, and it's very nice. It's very soothing, and it just, it's it's worth it. And like I said, this is a, just a little trial size, so I think maybe it's $15 for the big one. I should have did my homework. I'll link everything below. <laughs> okay, so that's the skin care yays. Now let's get right on to the makeup yays. Okay, well, I'm loving, let's start with eye palettes. This one I got Berries and Dream in my Ipsy and last month, and I it's really nice. It's very pretty, very pigmented, um, and it's lovely for, it is fall look, maybe fall and winter. But I've been practicing really hard, my ladies, to bring you this hooded eye tutorial. I've been watching so many and piecing together the things that I feel are great for our mature eyes that can get a little crepey and saggy skin. So. I'm, I'm doing, I'm just still practicing. All right, and then I love this e.l.f. Nude Mood palette. Just, and they're pigmented and they, they go on lovely and they last all day, so I'm liking that. And then this little palette I got in um, Ipsy, oh, this by Farah, these bronze colors. It's nice too, it, and it's nice for a little travel palette. Uh, so I'm, I used that when I was up with my girlfriend in um, Sun River. Would I, would I go out and buy it? Probably not. There's so many palettes all over that are just fabulous and not ones that are spendy. I don't think that's spendy. All right, so those are eyes. And then primer, I just, this L'Oreal Prime Labs, the, the green, and I have, I have it in um, Smashbox as well. And this one for the cost was well, $12 and Smashbox is $40. This works just as well. So that's a keeper. I like these brushes. This brush I got with Ipsy. This is like, I use it for a blush brush. I suppose you could use it for uh, contouring anything you wanted. It's very nice, very, it's got a nice, you know, push to it. <laughs> like that's important. I don't know, the jargon. Anyway, that's a keeper. And then, oh, I love the L'Oreal, um, hold on, Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. I use this in my L'Oreal. I think it's just a lovely, lovely mauve kind of color, and it goes on just really pretty. In fact, I have it on today. I like that one. And then, of course, I love the e.l.f. Uh, contour, their little contour in Honey Drip. It just... You can use your finger and just dab it in and smooth it. It's very nice. I really like it and the co and very, very uh, cost effective. <laughs> okay. Then, now, I have this L'Oreal uh, in nude uh, lip liner, and it is nice. I'm just not nude. Seems you know I'm just don't do a nude lip. I'm more like this kind of lip. So. Um, I'm on the fence whether this would be something I would use regularly, but it is a nice quality one. And then this Rimmel, this tight line by Rimmel, it is my go-to now. It, it, thank you, whoever that wonderful, beautiful subscriber was that told me about this. I, I'm so, I'm so thrilled. It's five bucks, six bucks, and it just, it's a keeper. Rimmel in black. And then my elf. This mascara, 
I, I've tried so many and I just keep coming back to this one because it just goes on beautiful and separates. I do need, as I said, a few more coats, but the, it doesn't clump. It just does exactly what I want. So I'm really loving this one. Okay. Oh, and this brush I got from It. I didn't even know I had this It brush, but I love it for uh, when I'm doing my um, hooded eyes or doing my eyes. It's, it's just, it's perfect. And I will demonstrate that when I do the hooded eye tutorial. Okay. I think that's all the stuff to review that I liked. I wanted to show you something that I think is amazing. If you haven't used it before, it's Lumify. Uh, I use it once in the morning because, you know, we don't want bloody red eyes when we do our video or just any time. And it's it's amazing, this Lumify. You just need to use it once and it just makes your eyes whiter than they were. Now, I'm gonna show you the nays. Again, I don't have a lot because I just, it's really hard to not like certain things. I've had a lot of trouble with mascara. So this L'Oreal Telescope, I don't like it. I didn't like the uh, thin. It's really thin and it just, it's like it, you're not applying anything. And I guess if you have a really thick lashes, maybe this would be good to help separate. I don't know. This will be regifted. And then this brush that I got, I like the other one, but this one, it says it's a um, blush or, or just, yeah, blush or, yeah, or powder, powder brush. I just don't like the tip of it. I, I don't know. I didn't like using it. I like my, I like this powder brush better. This is it as well. It's lovely. It's lovely. And then I wasn't really too thrilled with L'Oreal Lumi, Lumina, Lumi Bronze It. <laughs> Bronzer and medium, I think it is. Um, it was a little too luminy. It was pretty, but it was a little too luminy. And I like them just for my bronzers. I like them to be a little more subtle because especially if I use luminous makeup, then I don't want to add more illumination. I don't want to look like a clown. Remember, that's our motto, ladies. We are to not be clownish. We are to be reverish, beautifulish. Again, I didn't go to, I need a linguistic coach. Okay, so those are the three things I didn't like for last month. I'm just, I've been picking good and Ipsy's been giving me good stuff. Now, here's what's coming new. This is by Be Fresh, as good as new. And my girlfriend, when I was in Sun River, we went to Wally World. And this is Skin Renewal Body Serum with Hyaluronic Acid, Skin Renewal Complex, Water, White Water Lily, and Lactic Acid. See, Lactic Acid is good for, it's a mild acid. But it's, look at this. And we got it at, as a, Walmart had their, uh, their clearance. I call it clearance section. And it was like uh, three bucks and it's regularly eight. So we gave it a shot and it is just, it's been lovely. I, I've been using it for, since I went to Sun River and I'm really, really liking it. So I, I'll review it again after I've had a full month. Then I just got, I know about primer. I always say, oh, all you need is uh, uh, your makeup or your uh, concealer on your eyes, but I, when watching all those hooded eye tutorials, they said it is a must to have an eye primer, and it was recommended this Milani, and so I'm going to be using this and see how it goes on and how it help, helps my uh, eyeshadow stay on, and then this is a sunscreen, because I've been trying to get me a sunscreen that isn't just shiny to the core. I mean, you know, wait 15, 20 minutes and it's, um, you're still luminous. I wanted something that was very protective and waterproof. And Angie from Hot and Flashy, who I just adore, says this is one of her favorite. Undefined R&R sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 50, tinted mineral sunscreen, water resistant 40 minutes. Don't hold your face in the water for 40 minutes. But uh, I, I, I put it on this morning and I really, really liked it. It's in the medium tint. I think they have three colors. So I like it just so far. So I'll tell you how it's doing next month. But that's it. I just 
you don't see my table, it's just thrown with stuff. I'm, I'm just loving trying new products. Ipsy will be coming soon again, and then um, I'm going to be doing a liquid makeup, liquid foundation review, and I'm going to be doing a powdered review for mature skin. All of these are coming in the future because just, it's just going to be so much fun. All right, remember to be good to yourself, do self-care, pamper yourself, just love yourself incredibly. I know I do. <laughs> anyway, God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Remember, don't step in anything squishy. It's important. Winter is coming.